Welcome everyone to another fun Friday broadcast. Well, welcome to fall, Minnesota, when the city comes alive with vibrant colors and beautiful, crisp, sunny days. Today, we're going to create hammered leaf and flower prints using all the fall foliage around you. So get ready. We're going to have to go take a walk for this one. For this project, you will need flowers or leaves to print, watercolor or other rough acid-free paper, a hammer, a hard work surface such as a cutting board or a piece of wood, paper towels, a pair of scissors, and tweezers to help adjust where you place your flowers and leaves. The first step is to take a walk outside. Collect a bunch of flowers, leaves, and stems in a variety of colors and shapes. Don't forget to ask your neighbor if you're picking in someone else's yard. Next, we're gonna get started. Sometimes I put a towel underneath my board for my paper so that the sound of the hammer isn't so loud. This compared to. Now it's time to choose the leaves, stems, and petals you'd like to use. I'm going to start with a leaf, but I'm going to turn it upside down. When you pound leaves and petals, you always want to turn them upside down. So first up, I'm going to arrange those leaves. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and gently put it on top. Now, you can tape this down if you'd like, or you can just hold it. Now you're going to take your hammer and you're going to gently pound on top of the leaf. You want to make sure you pound and get all the edges and the middle. Otherwise, it's not going to make the shape you'd like. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. one. You might want to do this project during the day when no one else is sleeping. Gently lift your paper towel. You can kind of see this beautiful image that's left on the paper towel. Now with your tweezers or with your finger or whatever, peel off the leaf from the paper. Sometimes it'll just come off with, on the paper towel, but sometimes you gotta have a little bit of help with the tweezers. And there you have three beautiful leaf renderings. Well, I wanna add a little bit more to this. So I'm gonna take some marigold petals that are yellow, add a little bit here, and there, one right there, and the beautiful red petal at the very top. 
and a couple smaller leaves in the bottom. Let's see how that looks. Remember when placing on your paper towel, be careful so you don't move your leaves. You can kind of see through the paper towel where they are. So I'm gonna start with this side. Making sure I get all of the edges. If it moves, just put it back where it's supposed to go. There we go. All right. Lifting it off. I'm going to use my tweezer to take off petals. If the petal does not come off all the way, just wait till the paper dries and then you can peel it off easier. Wow, that yellow is so Great, love that. Now, one last thing I think I might wanna do is add some greens or a leaf coming all the way up the middle add to my design. This is kind of a fun one. This is a chive. <laughs> a chive you cook with, but it makes such a great line and it really makes a lot of great color. So I'm going to add this and then I think I'll be done with this one. You can go on top of other leaves, but you have to be careful that they don't get too muddy. That's just trial and error and playing and seeing what you can get and just getting used to the medium. Okay, isn't that beautiful? And there you go. A beautiful hammered leaf and flower print to share with family and friends. You could turn it into a card, you can frame it, or you can just hang it on the fridge. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week.